thank you for having me. Um, a few words about me. Uh, next slide, please, Dr. Chang. So as you can easily recognize from my accent, I'm French. And so I was initially trained in uh, microbiology first in South of France. So I have a lot of animation of this slide. And then uh, uh, in Paris, where I obtained my uh, PhD degree in microbiology, virology at the Pasteur Institute. And then uh, during that time, I actually worked on microbacteria. whose most famous member is Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the etiologic agent of uh, tuberculosis. And uh, during my graduate study, I started to investigate the immune response uh, induced by Mycobacterium bovis BCG, the vaccine against tuberculosis. And basically that's how and when I started to fall in love with immunology. So following my, uh, my graduate studies and then moved to the University of Chicago where I was trained in immunology in the laboratory Laboratory, uh, laboratory of uh, Dr. Jabri. And at that time, I studied the impact of inflammation on the loss of oral tolerance to gluten in the context of celiac disease. And from that point, I never stopped uh, working in mucosal immunology. Uh, following my postdoc, I moved uh, to the University of Montreal in Canada when I studied uh, next piece, my uh, uh, research lab, and uh, I kept working and collaborating uh, with Dr. Jabri on the development of uh, the first uh, pathophysiological mouse model of celiac disease that represent for us and for the entire celiac community a number valuable tool uh, to study uh, the, the deregulation of the immune response against gluten in the context of celiac disease. And that opened also the door uh, to be able to test a new therapeutic options. And a few years ago, three years, a little bit over three years ago, I actually got the opportunity to come back to the University of Chicago. And I didn't hesitate a, a, a moment because I think the uh, University of Chicago is actually provides, uh, actually in my view, one of the best scientific environment to work on the gastrointestinal diseases. So what do I do? Next slide, please. So, um, uh, it is well acknowledged uh, in the context of uh, inflammatory bowel disease and celiac disease that T cells, or the so-called T lymphocytes, are actually the pivotal cells that play a role uh, for the pathogenesis, contributing to the induction of the inflammation and to deleterious uh, reaction that lead to tissue damage. However, a uh, recent observation uh, of uh, with the detection of high amount of the so-called B lymphocyte that you can see on these slides uh, uh, in the mucosa of IBD of inflammatory bowel disease and celiac disease patients suggest that those B lymphocytes or B cells as we call them could also be instrumental in orchestral Orchestrating, orchestrating, sorry, intestinal immune response uh, in this patient. And understanding the role of these B cells, B lymphocytes is actually the, the focus of uh, my research. So what are these B cells? So you see on the first row, uh, you all know them because, uh, because of the ongoing pandemics, you all know that the primary role of uh, B cells is actually to become antibody producing cells. And you know that these antibodies are key to neutralize viral particles that try to infect uh, cells uh, of the body and, and generate infection. However, B cells and plasma cells, the cells that I can actually can produce antibodies, are also, can also exert additional roles. So the second row uh, that you can see, they can, these B cells and plasma cells can also uh, interact with, with T cells and promote the, this, the activation. Uh, next animation, please. And then can also secret small mediator that we call cytokine. And this mediator can also generate a lot of inflammation. And so both of these function, this interaction between the cell, the cell-cell contact, and this cytokine production uh, can lead to inflammatory uh, reaction in the mucosa of, uh, of patient. So uh, that's what we are studying. We are studying if both of these functions uh, play a role in the context of celiac disease and uh, inflammatory bowel disease. And this has uh, actually very important clinical implication because uh, B-cell depleting therapy have proven to be uh, very successful for the treatment of several autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis. And knowing whether B-cells or the antibody-secreting cells uh, play a pathogenic role in the mucosa of 
patient with intestinal inflammatory uh, disease, as well as understanding uh, how we could eliminate those cells within the intestinal tissue uh, could actually open the door for novel or unappreciated uh, therapeutic option. Uh, so that overall uh, the main lines uh, of our research. So thank you for your attention and uh, thank you for your support.